Hey, genuine well-wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives at the outset, I wish you a beloved a safe journey this year as well as the subsequent years. In spite of the three waves of Corona with the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline, in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India with all with high mortality rates. Besides, other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist from good-hearted preacher Professor Esure, back with sheer ecstasy, enticed with altruistic curiosity to learn the unknowns. Like an infant from a 204th video, 204 video on Unveil of Publication on YouTube today, 17th January 2023, Tuesday, Kanam The topic for today is Do We Need Jellicati in India? At the outset, I assure you, my videos are always short and sweet worth every femtosecond of your precious time. It hurts me when I hear that this may be the last year of Jalikatu in uh, Tamil Nadu especially. That should not happen. We are martyred but our videos are immortal. We live through our videos forever, for sure. Hence I am confident that I live forever having published 204 videos including this video so far for the benefit of society that are absolutely free. Jallikattu, also known as Manji Virattu. Jallikattu or Sallikattu, also known as Yerudu Vidudal and Manchu Virattu is a traditional event in which a bull bus indicas such as the Pulikalon or Kongayan breeds is released into a crowd of people and multiple human participants are attempt to grab a large hump on the bull's back. with both arms and hang on to it while the bull attempts to escape. Going by the historic facts, there is evidence that Jalikattu was carried out dated between BC 400 to 100 BC. As part of the sport, the bull's horn was encrusted with gold and those who caught the running bull and took the strap were declared as the winners and will be rewarded. In the village of Karikiu in the Middle East district, scenes of people chasing bulls are engraved on nearly 3,500 year old st stone slabs. Due to this, it seems that Jalikata has become popular. On the other hand, 1,500 year old stone slab has also been found at Kalitim Metipati, 35 km from Madurai town. It depicts a bull being subdued by a man. The farmers train the bull for the massive sport where it will be made to, sw made to sw swim. To gain much strength and takes many precautions to stay strong and healthy. Jallikati is a special thing for farmers where they showcase the strength of their bulls. Later the bulls which got weak in the sport will be used for the agriculture. Participants hold the hump for as long as possible attempting to bring the bull to a stop. In some cases the participants must try long enough to remove flags on the bull's horns. In olden times, the bull owner will tie a bag filled with coins and hence the term salikat. The bull tamer will get that money. Sometimes they will marry the daughter to the bull tamer. This practice has been, but prices are offered as an incentive to the prospective bull tamer. Only one person should tame the bull. Jallikati is typically practiced in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu besides uh, other neighboring states like Karnataka and Andhra, Telangana as part of Pongal celebrations on Mata Pongal Day which occurs annually in uh, January. Ancient Tamil Sangams describe the practice as Erudu Vidudal in Tamil, literally bull embracing. The modern term Jallikata Salikata is derived from Sali. coins and cut package which may refer to the price of coins that is tied to the bull's arms and that participants attempt to retrieve. Manjivarata literally means bull chasing as there are incidents of injury and death associated with the sport both to the participants and to the animals forced into it. Animal rights organizations have called for a ban on the sport resulting in the court banning it several times over the past years. However, with protests from the people against the ban, a new ordinance was made in 2017 to continue the sport 
Jallicati is much better than bullfights conducted in Spain since a matador kills a bull the most gruesome manner by irritating it with red robe and subsequently poking it with spears till it ble bleeds to death in the arena. Popular venues for Jallicati in Tamil Nadu, Alanganalur Madurai, Avanyapuram Madurai, Palamelu Madurai. These are the most popular locations. Besides that, we have Tamambati, Salem, Tiruvapur, Pudukkottai, Siravayal, Sivagangai, Kandupatti, Sivagangai, Vandanpatti, Pudukkottai, Pallavarayan Patti, Teni, Naikara Patti, Parani. Variants and rules. First one is Vadi Manjivarati. This is the most common category of Jallikattu. Uh, the bully is released from a crow space. Vadi Vasal. And the contestants attempt to ram the rams around the hump of the bull and hold on to it to win the award. Only one person is allowed to attempt at a time. This variant is most common in the districts of Madurai, Deni, Tanjavur and Salem. Second one is Veli Virata. In this variant, the approach is slightly different as the bull is directly released into open ground. The rules are the same as that of Vadi Manjivirattu. This is a popular variant in the districts of Sivaganga and Madurai. Vattam Manjivirattu. In this variant, the bull is tied with a 15 meter equivalent to 49 feet rope. Vattam means circle in Tamil. There are no other physical restrictions for the bull and hence it can move freely anywhere. The maximum time period given is 30 minutes, 3-0. A team of 7 to 8, 9 members can attempt to untie the gift token that is tied on the bull's, tied on the bull's arm. Bulls enter the competition area through a gate called the Wadi Basal. Typically, participants must only hold on to the bull's arm. In some variations, there are they are disqualified if they hold on to the bull's neck, horns are tied. There may be several goals to the game depending on the region. In some versions, contestants must either hold the bull's arm for 30 seconds or for 15 meters, equal to 49 feet. If the contestant is thrown with, by the bull or falls, they lose. Some variations only allow for one contestant. If two people grab the arm, then neither person wins. Activities to be completed as per regulation of Jalikata Act 2009. A written permission is obtained from the respective collector 30 days prior to conduct of event along with the notification of the event location. The arena and the way through which the bulls pass through is double barricaded in order to avoid injuries to the spectators and bystanders who will be permitted to remain within the barricades. The necessary gallery areas are built up along the double barricades. The necessary permissions are obtained from the collector for the participants and the bulls 15 days prior. Final preparation before the event include a complete testing with the authorities of the animal husbandry department to ensure that performance enhancement drugs, liquor or other irritants are not used on the bulls. Concerns of animal rights activists are related to the handling of the bulls before they are released and also during competitors' attempts to subdue the bull. Practices before the bull released is released include prodding the bull with a sharp sticks or sits, extreme bending, twisting of the tail which can fracture the vertebrae and biting of the bull's tail. There are also reports of the bulls being forced to drink alcohol to disorient them or chili peppers being rubbed in their eyes to aggravate the bull. During attempts to subdue the bull, they are stabbed by various implements such as knives or sticks, punched, jumped on and dragged to the ground. In variants in which the bull is not enclosed, they may run into traffic or other dangerous places sometimes resulting in broken bones or death. Protesters claim that Jalikate is promoted as bull taming. However, others suggest it exploits the bull's natural nervousness as prey animals by deliberately placing them in a terrifying situation in which they are forced to run away from the competitors which they perceive as predators and the practice effectively involves catching a terrified animal, terrified animal along with human injuries and fatalities. Bulls themselves sometimes sustain injuries or die which people may interpret as a bad omen for the village. In his work Animal Rights Without Liberation which analyzes the use of animals in cultural practices and concerns about hypocrisy Political theorist Alistair Cochrane argues that culture cannot outweigh animal rights or uh, outweigh animal interests in not being killed. Even if this entails the destruction of cultures defined entirely by the grey worm, they cast animals and sites. Jellicutter is an example to argue that culture or human interests cannot outweigh animal interests in not suffering. An investigation by the Animal Welfare Board of India concluded that Jellicutter is inherently cruel to animals. Animal welfare organizations such as the Federation of Animal Protection Organizations, FIA, PO, People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, People for uh, Animals, PFA, have protested against the practice, even uh, Blue Cross of India. 
The Indian Minister of Women and Child Development, Menaka Gandhi, denied the claim by delicate affection holders that the sport only is only to demonstrate the Tamil love for the bull, citing that the Tirukkural does not sanction cruelty to animals. Historic protest against ban on delicate in Tamil Nadu. On 8th January 2017, several thousands of protesters conducted a rally at the marina in Chennai opposing the ban on delicate. The participants walked from the lighthouse to the labor statue bearing protest poster, poster saying, Save delicate. A few churches openly conducted mass prayer mass and rally against the Supreme Court ruling. Truly, following the protests in Chennai, many students have started rallies in various towns of Tamil Nadu. After hearing the petitions which were led by the Animal Welfare Board of India challenging central government's notification, the Supreme Court of India on 12th of January 2017 ordered a stay, issued notices to the central government and the Tamil Nadu government and later refused to lift the stay. Numerous delicate events were held across Tamil Nadu in protest of the ban and hundreds of participants were detained by police in response. The Supreme Court has agreed to delay its verdict on delicate for a week following the center's request that doing so would avoid unrest. Due to these protests, on 21st January 2017, the governor of Tamil Nadu issued a new ordinance that authorized the continuation of delicate events. On 23rd January 2017, the Tamil Nadu legislature passed a bipartisan bill with the accession of the Prime Minister attempting exempting delicate from the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act 1960. The first legal delicate under this exemption took place on 1st February 2017 at Alangan Nalur, Madurai district. As a matter of fact, it was conducted today also. The Jalikata Premier League is a professional league in Tamil Nadu for Jalikata. The league was announced on 24th January, February 2018 to be organized in Chennai by the Tamil Nadu Jalikata Peravai and the Chennai Jalikata Amaipo. Banning Jalikata will decimate India's indigenous cattle breeds. Jalikata plays a very important role in saving the indigenous breeds of the country which are on the verge of extinction. The reasoning behind this statement is twofold. First, Jalikata becomes an incentive for the farmers to rear a native breed. Second, the offspring of the bull winning the Jalikata will be desirably stronger and used as a breeding bull. They argue that ban would worsen this situation because raising the cattle would be less profitable to the farmers, leading to reduction in the actual motivation. Also, raising of indigenous breeds and managing the herds by poor farmers for supporting community, community likelihoods helps in maintaining diversity. According to the Convention on Biological Diversity, direct human involvement in cultivating agricultural biodiversity is in inherently linked to sustainable use. If the ban on delicate remains, livestock keepers will be demotivated and be forced to abandon the raising of native livestock. This is a bad news as the rearing of native breeds is already threatened due to the onset of, onset of new agricultural technology like use of motor pumps, tractors, harvesters, etc. Considering the facts, delicate should continue forever as a sport in India, but proper precautions should be mandated and governed by properly by government authorities to ensure neither people nor animals get injured at any cost. Debates and discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyway, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements, views, expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of personal experience. Always watch these videos with closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension. As for my sincere recommendation, zillion times so far, I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. This time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as now. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing, attribute to the pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme, Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural and unnatural, maybe bio-war and cyber-war events like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays a way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species and yeah, for no fault of this. Rest in peace and harmony. Today I have taken about 15.